Given the opportunity, players will optimize the fun out of a game. That's a quote from Soren Johnson. He's a designer of civilization. In essence, we suck like a lot. And a blaring example of this is metas. I haven't got a definition for it. I don't know if it's real, but it fits. Most effective tactics available. That sounds made up like just after the fact, but I mean, it, it's accurate. All those videos about the best class, the best legend, best team comp, anything like that for a game like COD, Apex, whatever it is, that's the meta and it can ruin gaming for you if you let it. Yeah, with that definition, it kind of sounded like when people thought Riz came from Charisma. No. But yeah, if you follow like any online game, usually shooters or just anything competitive related, you see a video about it in the comments like, oh, if you're not running this X, Y, and Z, this, that, the third, you're throwing. Or I just know you're bronze if you use that. But you get what I'm saying. When people just only go for what's like the best thing in the game, no thought, no, you know, fun in the process of playing a game. That's the whole point. Like games are a form of entertainment. Like the most annoying example of this recently was Helldivers 2. Damn. Oh, no! <laughs> Why? Oh, I just want to stop being launched like Frostbite. Alright, I'm gonna try it. Hold on. I want to see if I can dive with one of these things. Hey! That's not even a PvP game. It's PvE. And it's like parties of four. You know, you can go to whatever planet, kill whatever aliens, bugs, robots, whatever it is. And if you weren't running like the top of the top stuff, people were getting kicked. And the devs heard about this and they're like, like what are y'all doing? Like, what are y'all on? We're not doing this. And they started just messing with the strength of things just to com combat that because it's just strange. Like, Helldiver is just meant to be a stupid, fun game. That's all it really is. It can get difficult at like the higher difficulties and stuff, but like, like uh, what's my boy's name? I already forgot his name. I said it like two minutes ago. Soren Johnson said like, you would just optimize the fun out of the game. Like, that's the whole point. If you're constantly trying to find the meta and you're like, man, this really ain't that fun with my souls to do, I got an answer for you. All you gotta do is buy my $30,000 course. <laughs> or I could just tell you. Your meta is just like whatever you think is the most fun. That might sound like super obvious, but bro, people be miserable on the game because they just won't, you know, try a new thing. Be miserable playing just a single game. They don't want to try any new games, even in the same genre, try other genres of games. Like it may not be that obvious to everybody, but once you try it, you're like, oh, this is actually way better. And chances are the thing that you like to use the most probably isn't like the worst thing. Like I play the finals a lot. I like to use the shotgun on the medium. It ain't the best thing. I mean, it just got better because they finally nerfed the scar, thank God. But yeah, it ain't the best thing in the game, but like, it ain't the worst. And it's a really fun gun to use, so that's what I use a lot of the times, unless I'm just really sucking that day. Or like the R9 in Apex or Bangalore. Bang was like the definition of mid for so long. And all of a sudden, people just decided she was meta on like a random Tuesday. It was strange. And this can really apply to content creators too, doing like the meta game for like streams or videos. You don't have to center your channel around it, but like if you want to play Animal Crossing for a stream, hey man, you enjoying the game, it's going to be a lot more entertaining than you being miserable on like the most popular game, whatever it is. On top of that, even if you are just going to stay in one genre, playing other games in the same genre can actually like help you just become universally better. Anyway, like I, when I first started playing MNK, which sure is I played Valorant first, which wasn't the greatest decision, but I mean, played with my friends during quarantine 2020. So at least I was five seconds not just suffering. I was, I was playing against CS players, but it, it could have been worse. But that just bled into when I wanted to play Apex MK. I'm still not that great at it because I don't do it that often, but that made that way easier than it would have been if I just went from just controller to MK and started with Apex. And the same thing, they transferred over to X to find, and then I think I played like a COD beta on MK. And since you're playing different games, you experiencing different stuff, it's probably gonna be more fun anyway. So it's not, it's not like you're doing it just for the sake of getting better. If you want to do that, do that, but there's a real benefit. Yeah, beyond the drama, I mean, just try and do things, do games. I mean, a lot of games are free. I mean, a lot of games are free. Even if they ain't free, Epic throws out free games every week. And if you want console, you know, there's PlayStation Plus. You pretty much can't even stare at the PS5 more than five seconds without buying that subscription because oh, most of the games require it. And then next also got Game Pass, which is just like a whole thing in of itself, a whole library. And if none of that, you still got demos, like out of action fire demo. Like I, if you're on PC, it's on Steam, out of action, just search it up. And Echo Point Nova, if you like Titanfall 2 type of movement, you would like that game too. And that's just like, you kind of clear out enemies in the area type of thing. You're just like zipping around the map. Cause like, if you really think about it, gaming is better than it's ever been. I know we playing like, oh my gosh, uh, the game I mainly play is doing blah, blah, blah wrong. And I was one of them with Apex, bro. Like Apex, they, they added solos today. That game came out 2019. So I get being frustrated with the main game, but you can't really see it. But I got a wheel here. I use for sim racing sometimes. I play Raft, which is just like the opposite of the finals in Apex. Just on a boat 
fishing. I feel like a lot of people, a lot of people try Power World in that little launch phase. I went like 10 hours deep into it, like 10 hour stints, like a couple times and then I don't know what happened. But yeah, man, next time you see a meta going around like, yeah, if that's what you want to do, do what you want. But if it's not fun, just try the thing that you think is going to be fun. As annoying as metas are, the only thing that we're annoying more is the whole dead game conversation. Talking about, oh, it ain't top of the charts. It ain't top of Twitch, YouTube, TikTok, Snapchat Premium. It's got to be a dead game right now. I made a whole video about it. It's right here. Leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next one. I'm going to try to upload every Thursday now. That's going to be the day. Thursday, sometime in the midday, probably like 12 to 3 PST, something like that. Bye.